Welcome to today's Jazz Standard Chord Lesson on the changes to Antonio Carlos Jobim's fantastic composition, How Insensitive. I don't think there's many tunes from the jazz idiom that have such emotional depth as this one, both the quality of the chord movements and the melody. It's a simple melody put to a fantastic chord progression that really leans on Chopin's uh, prelude in E minor. Now check the description for a link to the chord shapes uh, where you can get the chart and the chord shapes as separate PDFs. First off, it's important we talk about the key of this song. It's often played in D minor, the real book has it written out in D minor, but the composer played it in, in B minor, and I, I think it's always good to, to go with the, the composer's key. If you want to learn this really, you know, to a deep standard, I'd say it's worth knowing in both B minor and D minor. Now, in terms of the form, it's a 32 bars, and it's really split up in two chunks of 16. So here's the first 16 bars. I'll play it first, and I'll talk through it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So we start out on B minor seven, two bars. Then we go to a B flat yeah, diminished. And it's got an add note on the top. It would be a weird chord to name. Um, the presence of that little finger note on the top, the F sharp. Um, not sure what we would actually name it, but it's a B flat diminished, uh, really, in terms of feel, but it's got this added note on the top. And then, a minor six, the bass has gone B, B flat, A. Bass is gonna keep going down. E7 with the, the third in the bass. Beautiful sounding chord. Bass goes down one more time, G6. Now, that chord can be a bit fiddly to finger, so if you prefer, you could just play the regular sort of uh, drop two, um, sorry, drop three, G major seven, but I like G6 there to C major seven. which maneuvers nicely into C sharp minor seven flat five into F sharp seven sharp five into B minor seven. Good idea to do what I'm doing now, just make sure you got all the voices. It's a beautiful move. my bass note there. And here's bars 17 to 32. Last 16. One, two, three, four. So we're starting out on this bar 17, this D7. Now, you might recognize D7 normally like that, right? But quite often in a lot of these bossa nova songs, a lot of the rhythm guitar parts have the fifth in the bass like this. Sometimes people like to go, like going between the root and fifth like that. I quite like just staying on the, that. Next chord, G sharp seven diminished. That's a fiddly one to play. Got to get that first finger by. You can do it with four fingers like that, um, also, but I prefer it to be done like that. And then G major seven, and this version of E minor seven. I like that with the opening. And then when you go into the next chord. What I'm doing is letting the tip of the finger rest against the E string so that, that E string's muted, so it goes. So I silence the E string when I do that. And then we go to D7 again with the fifth in the bass. Then 
C sharp 7 with the 5th in the bass. This chord, great name, C sharp minor 7 flat 5 slash G, so it's the flat 5 in the bass. Again, quite a tricky chord, notice the first thing is by the F sharp 7 sharp 5, B minor. Now if you find that, particularly that C sharp minor 7 flat 5 with the G in the bass, you could just play C sharp minor 7 flat 5, but what you lose if you do that is this descending bass, which I think is really nice. If I go from bar 25, If I did that with the chords in root position, so D7, C sharp, still sounds great. I don't think it's quite so dramatic or as musically satisfying though. And let's talk some variations which are quite common too. A common variation to be aware of is just at the end. So from bar 29, it's quite common to go to the F sharp and instead of going to B minor, go into G major 7, so I do that, so it's like, here, yeah. it doesn't go where you expect it, and G major 7 and B minor 7 are very closely related chords, so that's why that works. In the Frank Sinatra version, they actually go to a G dominant 7, like this. I think it then changes key after that. Now, some versions I really love that I'd, I'd recommend you check out. Some guitar versions first I'd really recommend Wes Montgomery and my favourite guitar version is by Pat Martino. I really love the George Shearing version, piano bass version, obviously the Frank Sinatra version which has a key change in it. And, you know, Joe Boone's done a lot of versions with various artists over the years including people like Sting even and there's a really good video of him playing it with uh, Pat Metheny uh, live on YouTube that's, that's worth a listen and watch too. Don't forget to download the chart, the, the chord shapes over at my website for free, link in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Now, further points of learning, I've not talked about how to play the, the bossa rhythm and the sort of variations to that. I've already made a video on that topic, so here it is on the screen for you. And also a link up to uh, a video lesson on another great tune in this kind of vein, uh, the great tune Black Orpheus. Please leave me a comment, hit that like button. Jazz guitar lessons every Wednesday and Saturday. Until next time, you take care.